exactly. And wearing a mask isn't really helping me in my pronunciation abilities. Come on. Doctor Who exactly is me just reacting to the most recent episode of Doctor Who as it has been aired by BBC. The BBC. Ha! Ah, you can tell this is not scripted because everything I do is just me rambling towards a camera. Hello! So, Doctor Who Series 9. Doctor Who Series 9 has been brilliant so far. Episode 6 is The Woman That Lived. Which is the sixth episode of Series 9, which has been Doctor Who since the but uh, you know the joke, I did that last week. I'm drinking beer. Right, again, like last week, uh, the girl that died, I had a feeling this episode was a lot more comedic in nature than an average episode of Doctor Who, which is not bad. This episode, as well, like last time, was more about character studies than it was about the monster slash plot of the week. In The Girl That Died, the Maya having one of their own pretending to be Odin wasn't that important. It was more about who the Doctor was and why he saved people, why he did the things he did. And in this episode, uh, The Woman That Lived, it was about a shielder, or rather, me. <laughs> no, really, she just calls herself me. So it was about a shielder and the doctor in relation to her, and in curse of immortality. So there being a line man called Leon something, I already forgotten his name, whose big plan was to get a magic amulet, kill someone. And then half his species invade the planet. And a shoulder going like, Yeah, I'm going to see the galaxy, me! It, it wasn't really important at all. I mean, Rufus Hound, as Sam Swift the Quick, had more of an importance to the story because how he was as a character. And I'll say something. Because I don't have the feeling the girl that died and the woman who lived are a cohesive story. They're not really a part one and a part two. Under the lake, before the flood, obvious. The Magician's Apprentice, the which is familiar, obvious. The upcoming Zygon invasion, the Zygon inversion, obvious. This, we see Peter Capaldi just randomly arriving uh, towards the arse end of... Victorian England, I think. No, not towards the arse end. It's before the Great Fire Ring of London, so it's before 1666. <clears throat> but that's supposedly after the Dark Ages to begin with. And we get a little view about how if you're immortal and you don't age, well, look, well, she's not really immortal, she's said to be ageless, but I digress. So, we get a study about how much it would mess with a normal person. And, like I said, there's a line man in there. He's got glowing orange eyes. He can breathe fire. His species rain down gigantic meteor-like missiles upon Earth. And when I say Earth, I mean, like, where is this? Stoke? Basington? It's somewhere. In the middle of England. Who knows? But it's not important. Nothing's important. Well, characters are important, and that's what this episode tries to do. It tries to make you think, who are these people? Why are these people the way they are? And very often the answer is the Doctor. The Doctor is the Doctor, and how the Doctor is is always depending on the Doctor. I mean, look at 9, 10 and 11 before 12. <clears throat> if you're only familiar with the New Who series. So, what happens to the people that the Doctor touches? And we've had this before. Like in uh, Good Man Goes to War. <laughs> That's the first one I can think of. And uh, let's say uh, The Stolen Earth as well. Or it might be Journey's End. I'm not quite sure which one has Davros say towards the 10th Doctor. Oh, this is what you do to people. 
Yes, 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 yes. I can't do Davros. So I did quite like the episode. But like I said, it's quite comedic in nature and it's very much so character based. So I find it difficult to to put it in a box like I had with last week's. It's like listen, I had the same problem with listen. Listen was very much so about characters, but I I couldn't put it in a box the way I wanted it to. So right now, listen is still like in an ambiguous level for me. I might still need time for me to fully appreciate both the girl that died and the woman who lived. We'll find out. But anyway, they haven't been bad. And I don't think there has been a bad episode in Series 9 so far. And I really hope that the Zygon invasion, the Zygon inversion, will keep up this pace. The Watcher. He's been the doctor the entire time. <laughs>